Today we're installing edge glides in a TC-128. That's a Triton 12-foot hybrid trailer. We're using a combination actually of glides, uh, both caliber grip glides and a product made by Black Ice. So we're gonna talk about some of the subtle things that we found in putting this in that might help someone else that's doing a similar installation. Um, just in terms of materials, the caliber grip glides are nine inches in diameter. They come in shorter pieces um, and the, the black ice uh, glides come in six inch widths. We, for this installation, used 40 feet of the grip glide and we used 72 feet of the black ice. And then in addition, we put edge glides to protect the edges uh, of the trailer from the, the beating that they take when you pull sleds on and off. All right, so a, a few things, a couple little tricks that might be helpful to you. So first off, when, when we installed the edge glides, we decided to put the the hinges right up against the edge. And in doing so, you've got in the bottom the nuts and bolts that are gonna extend out. And so in order to have this fit flush, we went ahead and drilled holes into this rubber material to allow it to fit. And the way that we accomplished that was by installing the hinge first and then drilling pilot holes down through the, the holes and the hinges here, and then larger holes once we had the pilot holes so that everything lined up correctly. Again, we decided to put these here in order to protect the, um, to protect the edge of this, uh, the top of the trailer. This area actually is, um, is what keeps water and, and the elements from coming in, and we didn't want that to get too beat up. Now, when you're installing the, the grip glides, you want to first put the permanent screws along the edges, and then in the slots here will go actually a sleeve, a uh, screw sleeve, and the screw which allows these to expand and contract with heat and cold. The other uh, important thing when putting these in is leaving a, a 3 8 inch gap, which we failed to do here, um, and we're going to pull these off and, and adjust them, but you want a 3 8 inch gap in order to allow for the, the heating contraction. Let's talk about the screw materials for a second. So we discovered when we were putting the, putting the hinges in at the top end here, the screws that came with it were one inch screws and those screws ran into the aluminum and sheared off as we were putting them in. So we, we picked up some three quarter, number eight three quarter stainless screws and they fit perfectly uh, along these edges. That was, that was a better alternative. The other uh, screw type that we used were these hex uh, sheet metal screws again stainless steel and we're using those to anchor the the black ice material um, now in terms of placement of the of the glides we chose to run a glide straight up the center a lot of guys when they install these they'll they'll take two pieces like this bring them together and then you're having to drill into the aluminum. So to avoid that process, we installed this material up the middle and then put the black ice edge glides to the sides, which in addition to making it easier to install, provides a nice wide base for sliding the sleds around without worrying about damaging anything along the way. So we wanted to start this process of description now before we put the rest of the screws in 
and we'll see you in a few moments when we get the rest of the screws in and you can see what the finished product looks like. So we have the finished product, all of the pieces installed that we purchased. You'll notice that the, the glides are installed on the, on the door to handle the angle. On the interior, because we're not running sleds with studs, we didn't see any reason to run all the way up the center. And besides, it's just a place for moisture to gather otherwise. So we took some of the grip glides that we had left over and use those in the center and those will fall basically underneath where the, the paddles lie. A couple of other things to point out. If you look down here at the at the way that we've brought these up to the edge of the hinges, it allows these to fold all the way back so that there's no risk of the door pinching them. We originally ran one of them up to this point and we realized it was pinching when the door closed. So that is the right way to install those. The other thing that I'll point out is the Triton has a nice feature where they've brought in at an angle the, the edge of the uh, ski slide so that when you onload and offload you're not going to catch a ski on the side of the trailer. Now what that does then is this area is kicked out by about two inches and you'll see a lot of guys install their uh, glides up along the edge at different angles. We opted instead to start our glide at the point here where it's actually two inches out which allowed us to run the glides straight up to the front with a two inch gap on the sides and that two inch gap is not going to affect the ability of getting the sled in and out and getting the carbides in the right position because of the skis we're using and the width. This will, this will work and fit just fine. So I think that completes it. Um, again, want to remind you, leave a 3 8 inch gap between all of your grip glides and uh, we did also on the black ice glides because in the summer when these things heat up, they'll actually fold up and get pretty funky. Uh, so the way that the hardware is designed, Caliber has again done a nice job of providing a plastic sleeve that fits down inside of each of the holes where, uh, where the screws then uh, hold them in place and it allows as the expansion and contraction takes place um, the, the grips to slide back and forth without folding up or binding. All right, that's it for today. Take care.